Hey y'all and welcome back to another video by Umbra's Darkness. In today's video we got a special one for you. We're going to be talking about Alliance Expedition and how to gather. Gathering is a crucial part of Alliance Expedition and if you're not a player versus player type of person or you're a guardian main and don't understand why you can't win any battles, this is the video for you. Uh, it will be a little bit uh, complicated and this is a two-parter that will post the second one in about a week. We need more data before we go too far in depth on the other half. But this one will cover all of your gathering needs and desires. This is for anyone that is, again, not a player versus player person or that wants to try and get MVP. Uh, this is probably, in my opinion, the easiest way to get MVP right now. And this is also my plea to the developers to nerf gathering it should not work this efficiently i'm going to be honest with you guys uh looking at these numbers and i'll show you some screenshots of some numbers this is in no world how it should work without further ado let's get into it so with alliance expedition as you guys know this is what the map looks like uh it's this exact same way for the last three alliance expeditions we have no reason to believe that it's going to change it is symmetrical down this line right so both sides have the equal opportunity of posting here 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 and here in these screenshots uh i talk about gathering from this point uh but there's a lot of opportunity for you to gather from this point or this point or this point or this point you just have to flip it uh however needed based off of where your starting position is all right so i'm going to lead you through a couple of screenshots here uh, and this first one is if you're just starting out to the game, you don't have a bunch of, uh, equal teams or anything like that. <clears throat> you're going to want to send your troops out to gather to these nodes. So this is, uh, the highest level of AGAV, highest level of AGAV, medium level of AGAV, and lowest level of AGAV. Uh, the reason that you're going to want to send out to these three, four nodes is they're the most efficient for gaining points. You're going to want to send your fastest and your largest load out to the high level AGAV and you're going to want to send your uh, weakest loads out to the me these two medium AGAVs. Uh, so if you're, again, uneven, uh, you're just starting out, you're, this is your first AE, you're not a huge spender or you're free to play, this is how you're going to be doing it. Uh, this is... If you take this resource tunnel, this is exactly where you're going to be stationing in this corner and you're going to be sending out to these four nodes. Now you can station in this corner, of course, uh, and, st and send out to these four nodes. Uh, however, stationing in the left or the right corner is detrimental as much as it doesn't seem like it would be uh, if your teams aren't all even. Uh, so that's where you want to station for those. Okay, now talking about stationing, as you can see, these are these are the recommended uh, stationing points uh, <clears throat> in your uh, in gathering if you have each transport tunnel. Now here you can see that it does recommend stationing here or here, and that's because we're going to start talking about staggering. So if you're new to the game or this is your first AE or you only have one march uh, of carriers of T1 carriers, then this the rest of this video isn't for you. But if you have T1 carriers, if you're going in depth into it, uh, this is for you. These are your gathering points if you have a resource tunnel and if you want to move out of home base. Uh, in my opinion, it is worth it to just stay at home base and stagger your marches as we're going to talk about. But if you're if you want to move to a resource tunnel, these are your best locations. Obviously, this middle one is going to be the absolute best for you. Um, and is worth moving to even if you are staying at home base. Uh, this resource tunnel only opens up once, maybe twice in AE, so the one or two times that you're going to move there is worth it. Uh, just remember every time that you move, if you are staggering marches, uh, it does hurt you a little bit. You also need to remember you only get points for gathering when your troops return home. Uh, so if you're not going to get home by the time the resource tunnel the natural tun resource tunnel closes uh you won't get any points for sending out your team so with that this is how you're going to gather if you 
aren't doing, uh, if you aren't moving out of the area or if you're not out of, uh, none of these three source tunnels are captured, this is where you're going to gather. Uh, this picture depicts if you have two large teams. Uh, so what that means is if you have two teams that are about 15 uh, mil power each and have equal march times, uh, sorry, not 15 mil power, 15 mil uh, resource gathering in equal march times, uh, let's talk about how to get to 15 mil gathering real quick. So if I go in here and I look at one of my teams, uh, which in my opinion, are pretty good teams. Uh, I'm only at 11.4 mil, and as you guys know, I'm a carrier main, so I, uh, my evolutions are pretty pretty good, pretty high up there. Um, but I'm using T9 carriers. Now, carrier main has no idea what carriers are. And we see their, their loads. They built T1s just for Alliance Expedition. This is my wife's account. She's a shooter main. Uh, as you can see, this is a 14 mil... Uh, March load again. She has no evolutions into like uh, carrier sat carrier uh, troop hold or gathering troop hold or anything like that. She's a raider main. Uh, she's you know a spicy redhead as the as the ladies back home would say. I love every minute of it, but nonetheless, uh, this is how much she can hold. This would be a large troop size. Now if you. If you don't understand the significance in between, or why this works, uh, carriers versus carriers level one versus carriers level nine, let me show you this real quick. We can go on over to the carrier tunnel, and we can click on this little eye. It for a level nine carrier, our load size is nine, but for a level one carrier. Our load size is 15 and our march speed is 18, so you're also moving faster. Also, uh, load size 15, march speed 18 for T2s. The reason you do T1s is because during uh, kill event, it gives less points if uh, an opponent hits your gathering node and you're using T1 carriers. So, uh, my wife uh, uses T1 carriers in order to gather uh, and she has about uh, 1 million because she has about three maxed units when she gets her fourth unit she'll carry about 1.3 maybe 1.4 million t1 carriers to be able to gather at all times okay guys so that's why you use t1 carriers over t9 carriers sorry for the segue uh, real quick while we're in the middle of segways on how to gather let's talk about the best special ants for this because there's even best special ants for it so uh when we talk about gathering size as we've already discussed uh it's going to be your skill one and skill six that matter for the most part however there is three skill sevens that also matter that are for carriers as you guys know i don't have any of those special ants because Aaron Jesus hates me. Um, so there's that. But <clears throat> if we look at Shikri Master and we look at her skill 7, uh, it increases the march speed by 23%. Uh, so that's super huge. Uh, yeah, so putting, putting this in there makes that march speed move even faster. So if you aren't going for staggering or if you have two two that are staggering and then you want one super fast one shikari will increase that uh you have shikari then you have reap master which is a shooter one but does not take into consideration which load it's uh leading uh that one increases it by 50 percent march speed will increase by 50 percent uh it does not require does not require to be leading shooters in order to increase that. Uh, and the last one is Mimicry. Mimicry is the Guardian one, and that one will also increase March speed by 50%. So, as you guys can see, 
uh, there's a way to increase your march speed a significant amount. Uh, and in a dream world, you have skill 1, skill 6, and skill 7 unlocked on all three of those. You have them in the same units, leading T1s, leading T1 carriers, and they go to a level 3 AGAV uh, back and forth super fast. Uh, since we don't live in that world, uh, and not everyone has that those types of special units, um, yeah, it, you, you don't get it. But those will throw off your march speeds as well, so... Normally, when you're looking for equal march speeds, you're looking at a couple of things. You're looking at the insect level, of course, right? And then you're also looking at the evolutions in here uh, for march speed, which is march speed on pack light. So another reason to max out all of your evolutions. Uh, hey, y'all, real quick, while I was uh, editing, I got a message from the nerd herd telling me, Hey, stop the presses. We have breaking news that we need to talk to you about. And thank you for the nerd herd for doing this and uh, keeping me as honest as possible. Uh, a couple of quick updates for gathering March, including one ant with skill one and skill seven, 50% max speed. So those three that we just talked about. And no dupe for skill six. So let's say you're like me and you only have one of those special ants, but you've never gotten a dupe. You can do those in place of a one that has both max skill one and six. Uh, so it's about 267,000 troops with a 50% speed buff versus 323,000 troops with no speed buff. Uh, they can help us fill marches with the new ants that have those buffs with no dupes. Uh, so it's better to spread them out that way. So that way you have a lot more troops going a lot faster and they make them a little bit eviously. Obviously, again, having a dupe for those new ants is best case, making them the MVP of the gathering march. Sticking those two speeds of marches or two sets of marches can be optimal for staggering gathering of two very close high efficiency agabs. For example, placing the hive at the edge of one of the far east or west tunnels, very near two, uh, two tier eight, two a gavs, and in the hive waiting for too long for other marches to arrive at the a gav. If only one march speed and one high level insect, prioritize the pro march since it gets a bonus load up to fifty percent from the cultivator building. Uh, so I didn't touch on that, but it you do get your gathering buff from Cultivator, so another reason to stay Cultivator all the time, I guess. Uh, thank you guys for the edit. Let's get back into the main video and listen to my stupid header. I mean, what? Yeah, I hope that that uh, makes sense to you guys. Um, for that, let's get back to the main course of action, main conversation. So if you have... Two large troops. This is how you're going to gather. This is how you're going to stagger. What staggering means is you're going to send one troop. You'll send one of your two equally timed troops out to this level 3 A gap. Then you'll send your other two teams out to these ones. And then your third, your last team that is equally timed, you'll send out to this node after it's hit. If you guys don't know, you're not allowed to send two marches to the same A gap. However, once a march team hits that AGAV, you're allowed to send another team to it. So you're staggering them by having one out or having both units out at uh, one time. However, one is going one is going to and one is coming from. That's why it's important that you have the march speeds at equal amounts so you minimize downtime. If you have two medium troops, so we're talking about 10 mil, right? So if 15 mil is three max special ants, 10 mil would be two medium troops. This is how you're going to stagger uh, it. You're going to send them to this node. Then you're going to send uh, a march unit to this node and a march unit to this node. If you're in the middle natural resource tunnel, obviously the best one. Again, this is how you're going to stagger either way. Uh, both out to this one and then back and forth here. And then if you have four, like let's say you're a super whale watching my video, free advice. Um, this is how you're going to stagger is to these two points. Uh, 
and you're again going to stagger them as much or as evenly as possible. This does get thrown off a little bit if you have all the special ants that we just discussed, um, in which case you wouldn't be able to evenly stagger these. If you do have one of these other re natural resource tunnels, uh, this is the best natural resource tunnel. This is the worst natural resource tunnel. And these are the these two are even. These are going to be how you gather where you're going to want to gather from. I hope this makes sense, you guys. I know it's a little bit complicated, a little bit. Um, it's a lot of information to absorb, and I know that it is a lot of information to absorb. But the benefit of a YouTube video is you can rewatch it as many times as you want in order to try and understand it. Uh, if you are a Patreon member, which I got my first Patreon member tonight, shout out to you. Um, as promised, Daniel Horman uh, is the first Patreon that I've ever had, and I would like to thank you very much um, for supporting me financially and uh being willing to help me as much as you uh can yourself i hope to be able to speak to you in depth about all of your questions uh you are eligible based off of different things in order to do that uh also the discord is almost live there's a couple of hiccups uh, i'm not the best at discord but Hopefully the Discord will be live in the middle of the week and I will announce it on the first video that it is live for. Um, with that, we are at 1,197 subscribers. So we will be doing the 1,100 subscriber uh, for the $20 Google Play giveaway. However, we, we do not have a 1,200 subscriber to uh, reward, but is what it is. Uh, you guys have been excellent with the support, and I'm finally back on a normal schedule of putting out videos, so it makes sense that I'm not able to uh, give out give out and uh, give away the next Google Play giveaway. So thank you guys very much for the love and support. Without further ado, uh, let, let's draw the lucky winner. All right, you guys, same story as always. Uh, we're going to right-click here. We're going to copy. I'm going to scroll down here, same YouTube picture thingy that we always do. I'm going to paste right here. I'm going to filter out duplicate eaters. We're going to include reply comments because I don't care where you guys do it and you only get one chance to do it. Uh, and then keyword right here, grind. Right click, copy. Right click. Ooh. Okay, let's do that one more time. We're gonna right click, copy. Then we're gonna right click, paste. Don't know what that was, but as you guys can see, that's why we prove it to you guys every step of the way. Get YouTube comments. 62, holy poopy McPoopy. You guys. Chill. My video's been out since November 4th, my guy. November 4th. Y'all, three days, 62 comments? Wow! Y'all, I am so blessed to have you guys in my community. Thank you guys so much. All right. Uh, <laughs> sorry. I wasn't expecting that many comments so, so fast. Uh, with that, we're at the start raffle and pick random winner. Karen, congratulations, Karen. Never thought I'd say those words out loud. Congratulations, Karen, on uh, winning the $20 Google Play giveaway. Uh, I'm still blown away by the 62 comments, you guys. Look at that. Total names, 62. 62, you guys. That's insane. All right, you guys. Uh, my wife... While I was pulling up all the stuff in order to find a random winner for this, I uh, did point out that another reason to do T1s over T2s is T1s are only leaves, and T2s are leaves and sand. So I don't know about you guys, but I look at my leaves. I have 886 million leaves. So, you know, not really hurting on leaves any. 
Uh, anyways, you guys, I, y'all rock. Uh, sorry I'm slacking on the Discord channel. You guys make my life better every day. You surprise me and you bless me in ways I can't even imagine. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. As always, you guys, you can catch me in the YouTube comments. I do try to do my best to reply. Uh, I haven't been getting very many push notifications lately, so I'm sorry about that. You can catch me on Discord. Uh, that's the best place to find me, I'm going to be honest. Or online. My username is in the description below. Or, worst case scenario, like I always say, you can catch me on server 174. Until next time, you guys, stay humble, stay happy, stay hungry. Bye, y'all.